We've all seen those closet staples checklists, but which of those items are actually timeless? I thought today we could dive into that topic and I'm going to be sharing with you 10 items that I think are actually timeless and are worth adding to your wardrobe. I'm going to just start with my very first piece. I'm going to do this in no particular order. And I think what I want to start with is a good pair of blue jeans. Now, Blue jeans, their history goes back to the 20s when workers were wearing them because denim is a really durable fabric. It was in the 1950s when James Dean wore them in Rebel Without a Cause that they really started to become a little bit more popular as a symbol of the youth rebellion. And then throughout the 60s, 70s, they just became more of an accepted casual style choice. Now, I personally think that really there's no better brand than Levi's when it comes to denim and I've got two different styles here. One is a cropped fit, one is a longer length fit depending on your personal preference but really you cannot go wrong with blue jeans. They are easy to dress up, dress down. I personally tend to wear mine more in a casual way. I love them with a white tank in the summertime but equally with a cozy knit and some boots in the wintertime. To me they are a really good option for almost year-round wear depending on your climate and where you live and I mean blue jeans have been going strong for a century now which I think kind of puts my point into practice that these really are timeless. The second wardrobe staple that I think is truly timeless is a good button down shirt and I'm really thrilled to be sharing with you that I'm partnering with Power of My People in today's video and I've got two of their beautiful button downs to share with you and you know the thing that really excites me about this is actually I have been following this brand for more than five years maybe almost since its inception and I love the story. So co-founder Jessica, she actually used to sew and make all of these shirts by hand and it would take her up to 18 hours to make each one. All of the shirts are actually made in Canada and one of the things that I think really sets them apart is that they have traceability information on their website. So you can actually see where the uh, linen or cotton fibers were grown and then where they were milled and uh, that's something that is quite unique I think and they also use Oecotech 100 certified cotton and linen which means that it is free from more than 100 different harmful chemicals and substances which I love. So I have two of their shirts here. I I've got one of their proper fit shirts. This is in the Forester, which is this beautiful, rich forest green. And I don't know if you can see, but hopefully you'll be able to tell from the cutaways, the slub texture of the linen just gives it so much visual dimension and it's not just one flat color. And that's one of the things I really love about linen as a fiber in particular. And then the other one here, which I have is the Wayward Fit. And so the proper fit by contrast, this is more of a slim fitting, uh, regular fit shirt. So a really good option for the office or if you just want to dress up a pair of jeans, whereas the Wayward Fit is a short sleeved oversized fitting shirt and it has these really large pockets on the chest as well. I got my usual size in both so I got both in a size small and you can kind of see the difference I think in the cutaway as to how they appear on me but just absolutely beautiful and the actual quality of these is really lovely too. And I guess kind of going back to my point about what I was saying with the Levi's jeans, I think shirts have just been part of our fashion journey, not just mine and probably yours as well, but I just mean women in general. We have been wearing blouses, shirts in some sort of form or another for a really, really long time, for decades and decades. And I think if you are to try and pinpoint a decade that this belongs to, you can't. And to me, that really is the test of timelessness and the fact that these are a really good essential to have in your wardrobe. Now, I have actually styled both of these shirts in a few different ways so that you can see because I wanted to share with you the versatility of a button down because to me, it is one of the most practical pieces in my wardrobe. So I've styled up both. So we'll start with the proper fit Forrester shirt. I've styled it here with a pair of trousers, which you're gonna see a little bit later, and some sandals. I've worn it unbuttoned here, and this is more of a casual way that I would wear it while still feeling a little bit more put together and refined. Another option would be to wear it with some shorts. I quite like the idea of leaning into the earthy tones, and 
I just got inspired by the name Forrester, so I paired it with some brown shorts and I thought that this was just a really nice color combination. Then I thought it would be nice to show you how it looks with something really bright and fresh. So I paired it with a white denim mini skirt. And another thing that you could do here if you wanted is leaning in on some of those classic silhouettes is add a trench coat as well. I think with a long sleeve, another great way to wear it would be as a overshirt or a bit of a lightweight summer jacket. I think a really nice way to also kind of make this feel a little bit more relaxing and casual is to actually just roll up the sleeves and that kind of also adds in some balance to your outfit as well if you feel like you need to show a little bit of skin or just kind of switch up the dimensions and proportions slightly. Um, so that is the proper fit shirt in Forrester and then of course we have the wayward shirt and I think this is the one that I really fell in love with all those years ago after seeing it on my friend Lee from the blog Style Bee. So one of the first things that I did was decide to pair this with some linen shorts and then just throw a sweater over my shoulders. This is a really easy breezy outfit. Actually one that I would do quite often here in the spring summertime because it gets so hot and I quite like having a shirt worn loose and open because you get that additional ventilation. Um, and that's one of the beautiful things about linen as well is obviously it is really breathable being a natural fiber the perfect option for the warmer months then another way that I decided to wear it is buttoned up and then tucked into a pair of cream trousers I just thought this was really really chic and elegant then you could also wear it with some blue jeans so what I've done is a French tuck the final outfit that I wanted to kind of share with this shirt is going back to those shorts but instead of wearing it sort of loose or tucked in I've actually just done a little bit of a tie at the bottom of the shirt that is another way that you could wear the shirt obviously uh, the options are endless with this and I just think such beautiful quality shirts and of course a button down is an absolute essential I do have a discount code to share with you if you have been eyeing up anything from power of my people it is Jamie Lee 10 and that will get you 10% off site wide if you would like to purchase one of their really high quality well-made shirts um, and the beautiful thing about linen in particular is that it will soften over time and they do cotton as well if you prefer cotton over a linen uh, texture but button down shirt absolute essential and thank you so much to uh, power of my people for partnering with me on this part of the video now I think next we'll go with another really iconic item and that is the striped shirt and you cannot tell me that this is not a, a timeless piece they come in so many different varieties and different colors you can have the versions that actually aren't striped all the way up to the collar but actually start uh, around your chest there is a whole history behind their midinier and why they have become popularized and again I will link some information about that down in the description box in case you're interested in learning a little bit more. Um, but I just think this is one of those prints that will never ever date. And again, you can't actually pinpoint this back to a specific decade or moment in time. And to me, that is something that really signifies whether an item is classic, timeless, or not. Probably obvious if you've been following me for a while that there is quite a French sort of slant to my own personal style and taste, but uh, really doesn't stop this from being such a good basic. And um, I've got two here, one is in a green and one is in a blue. Uh, and I just think they look so good with jeans, with shorts. Um, you know, they layer really well as well. If you would like to put a button down underneath, I think that is such a chic styling option as well. And you can also kind of roll up the sleeves and then have the cuffs peeking out. Love it. Uh, but Britain Stripe, definitely a timeless piece that I think is worth having in your wardrobe. So the next piece that I would say is really timeless is a midi length coat. And what I mean by this is a coat that falls below the knee, but above the ankle. And this is something I think will never ever go out of style in a classic color. So camels, navies, grays, blacks, those are, that's sort of the color palette I would stick to because it's going to work with everything in your wardrobe, regardless of whether you love bright colors or you go for more muted neutrals like myself. And also caveat, any of these categories that I'm talking about, you could have them in any colors, any color of the rainbow. It's more the style that I'm referring to here than the actual colors themselves, except for when it comes to coats. So I tend to go for styles that are a little bit more relaxed. So something like this uh, chocolate melange coat from The Curated, or we have this really dark gray one here from Facade Pattern. But I also have this slightly more slim fitting coat from Goalia. So I think these are all really great, something in a wool as well. And 
To me, I will say this time and time again, but an area that I think is 100% worth spending money on is a good quality coat in natural fibers. Something that is going to wear really well, not start to pill after a season or two. Because what I found is my coats that are made from wool or blended with a bit of cashmere, they really hold up regardless of how much I've worn them. And uh, to me, that is sort of what I want to have in my wardrobe. I want to have these really great quality pieces, especially if I'm spending a bit of money on them, that are going to stand the test of time. And uh, again, I think that when we look back through the decades, through the centuries, we'll see that those longer coats have always been around, regardless of whether something that is a little bit shorter has been uh, in fashion. And they're really practical too, of course, because they're keeping a lot of your body warm in the winter months. All right, knitwear, I think a really good quality knit in a color you love and in a style that you love. So I've got three different fits here because I think this highlights quite well that these are all beautiful sweaters but they're all doing something a little bit different and they're all going to sort of lean into this different element of your own personal style or taste and so your preferences are going to dictate which one or which style what type you would like to wear the most on repeat. You could either go really big and oversized, like this one here that I've got in the gray. You could go for a beautiful V-neck, if that's sort of the shape that you prefer. Maybe even something that's a roll neck that fits a little bit higher. This one's in an alpaca, super soft and snuggly, actually in two colors. Or maybe you just like your classic crew, something that is really slim fitting, that is uh, going to kind of see you through, be a really good base layer even if that's what you're looking for, but just kind of hug the body in a cloud-like cozy way. Uh, I think that good knitwear, something again that you can wear for a really long time, is just something worth spending a little bit of money on and is utterly timeless. Actually, my in-laws were visiting recently and my father-in-law was wearing a sweater and I actually pinpointed the decade that it was from. It was from the 70s and his mother-in-law had made it for him. The reason I could tell, and the only reason I could tell, was because of the actual fabric choice that she had used to make him the sweater. But he's still wearing it today, you know, like 50 years later. And I just think that's amazing. And see what I mean? Good quality really stands the test of time. Okay, next item that is actually timeless is a pair of ballet flats. They're really in fashion right now. But again, we've seen these around for years and years and years, for decades. We're thinking about what my Kia used to wear back in her heyday. It was a ballet flat or maybe one with a little bit of a low, low heel. But she was wearing this sort of shoe and again if you can't pinpoint a decade that it belongs to then to me it is something that is truly timeless and something that you're going to have in your wardrobe for a really really long time preferably i think in a neutral color but i do love a red ballet flat i just think it is so chic and just adds a really nice fun vibrant pop to your outfit something that will never go out of style is a good base layer again i've got a few iterations because it really depends on your personal preferences we have something that is really fitted i personally like a rib tank something that has a little bit of a cutaway detail i just think that it uh, is a great starting point for an outfit Maybe you want to do a sleeveless top, but you want it to be a little bit more relaxed. So I also have this one here, which is in a really nice slumped cotton. Or alternatively, you want to go for your basic tee. I like a slouchy fit, but you could also do something that is more of a baby tee, something that is cut really nice and close to the body, sort of similar to how the rib tank fit on me. But I think a good base layer like this, a good starting point for your outfit, won't go out of style. And I will say that I think that this is really something that has become more popularized since probably the 90s with the whole white t-shirt blue jeans combo being really, really the star of that decade. But it to me is something that when I consider the direction that fashion is heading in, is something that I think is timeless and that we are forever going to be reaching for as part of our uh, style uniform. Next item is a tailored trouser. And by this, I mean something that has some fluidity to it and that is a bit longer through the leg. Now, I know the crop pant was really popular for a minute there and I definitely loved it and I still love the crop trouser. These have always been around. They're just more readily available now, which I love. Um, and I think that they have different 
levels of formality as well, depending on the fabric option that you go for, uh, or even the color too. So I've got a cream pair and a black pair here, and you can see that they just have a really nice sort of level of ease through the leg. And the reason for me why these are such a timeless classic piece is to do with their versatility, the fact that they can be worn multiple seasons of the year, and that you really are going to be able to take these from the office to the weekend to an evening out with your girlfriends. For me, these are just something that are not going to be going away anytime soon. And uh, I think that they are great for actually also lengthening your legs as well. So perfect for you petite girlies out there, but also for those of you who like me have a longer torso and you want to really create some balance in your outfits. And I mean, my mum used to wear trousers like this as well as part of her sort of uniform, her style uniform. And again, like I said, when you can take something back multiple decades and you see it's still relevant today, uh, and not in that trend-based way, like Barbie core or uh, sort of that 2000s millennial way. Not like that, but in the way that you build a staple outfit, one that isn't sort of leaning into heavy trends, uh, then to me, timeless. Perfect. Uh, so I've got two more items. The next one being a transitional season jacket. And I'm just going to go on a limb and say, for me, it's a trench coat. For you, this might look different. It could be a blazer. It could be a denim jacket. It could be a bomber. It could be something else entirely, maybe a little boucle jacket, something like that. But I like something with a bit more length. And this has to do with proportions and balance, but also that sort of French edge that I have to part of my personal style. And again, I don't think you have to be limited to neutral colors, despite what my own selections will tell you because I have one in a pale beige, which I've had this one for about five years, one in a sort of khaki green, and then one in a camel. But again, this has been a utilitarian piece, but for me, it's more the aspect of this layering scenario rather than necessarily needing one to repel the rain uh, and also just adding that additional layer of warmth. And that's the utilitarian way that I tend to use it. And then bonus points if it does rain, I've got my jacket on to kind of keep me dry and at least protect me from the elements. The final classic item that will never go out of style is a black bag and again this could look like so many different things we have your ultimate classic bag which kind of goes all the way back to the was it the 30s that Coco Chanel started her brand uh, but this bag has been around a very very long time almost a century or we could have kind of a crossbody bag, shoulder bag, something that's a little bit larger, or even something that could double up as a clutch in the evening as well. Uh, really depends on your personal needs and requirements, but I don't think you can go wrong with a black bag and it will work back with everything in your wardrobe. Again, I think buying something that is high quality is the key so you can have it for a really long time. So that's it, 10 wardrobe staples that are actually timeless. I hope that you enjoyed this video and would love to know if there were any other pieces that you think I should have included that I might have forgotten. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and wanna subscribe, I would love to have you back. Please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And again, thank you to Power of My People for partnering with me on part of this video. It was just such a joy to be able to feature a couple of these shirts. And I do have that code JamieLee10 for 10% off site-wide. Anyway, I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.